gosh, they are so big now. Hello, baby Chase. This time Olivia has her eyes glued to her son. And there's our little sunshine Ariel. Bethy, why are you all alone? Where's mum? Everyone gathered round, waiting impatiently for the feeders. The whole clan is moving downhill. The feeders pitched up and they've got wind of it. Who's Gary toting around? It's Bethy, his niece. Did you mistake him for his brother Jerry, the flea picker? People often mix them up, because Gary is the spitting image of Jerry. Gary is relatively meek and mild. He must have heard Bethy crying out for mum, so he offered her a ride. A windy day with outbreaks of rain and drizzle. Bethy's still looking for her mum, and Uncle Gary is endeavouring to make her feel secure. Dopey, officially a member of Skull Head's troop, albeit a low-ranking one. Hey, Dopey, where are your manners? We should catch up with the others. The regular feeders are surrounded by excited shouts from the crowd. Not only does little Luke bear a striking resemblance to his mother Lulu, but he also coos just like her. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, Those at the far end are lower in social rank, which determines what they can eat. They will always be last in line. Weaning time is imminent for Ariel one of the very first babies born in the season last year. It's like mum's telling Ariel to go face the wall. It's obvious what Ariel desires. She's craving her mum's attention. <laughs> oh Ariel, this is something you will have to face sooner or later. Mom, please come fetch me. Finally, Sophie, what took you so long? My heart would melt at the sight of a crying baby.
If we were to have a baby of the month contest, it would most certainly remain neck and neck. Bubbles is such a gorgeous young girl. Killing time before the feeders dish out goodies, picking up the bits and pieces. The connection between a mother and her child that persists through thick and thin really is the purest love you can find. They still forage on their own in the presence of the feeders. Bethy is definitely going to be hard to wean.
你咪上邊啊，依個。好咩？係啊，車嚟啊。Bethy, don't put that in your mouth. Wild may not be as impressive as Skull Head, but he is the alpha, at least for now. Even the feisty matriarch Abby bared her teeth in submission. How nice it is to bump into Tiny. Still a loner, but is situated near Loena's troop. It's like playing toss and catch. The feeders are trying to fill Tiny's pouches. Attaboy. He's finally got a hold of some bread. I hope eventually, a troop will take him under their wing 